Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda, and welcome to J Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve the world's social and environmental problems. A Japanese company has found a way to put out fires with less water and with less impact on the environment. And this clean firefighting technology is made from soap. Shabondama Soap, a Fukuoka prefecture company, has come up with a fire extinguishing foam based on natural, additive free soap. It is free of the surface active agent used in existing foams, so the soap based foam doesn't hang around to obstruct firefighting or seep into rivers. The company hopes to make the foam cheaper to make and sell, and also customize it to match water in different parts of the world. The company soon plans to test its soap based foam on the forest fires that afflict northern Thailand each year. Next, the first Japanese firm to manufacture self healing concrete has announced that it will share its technology freely with others in its industry. Self healing concrete contains bacteria that produces calcium carbonate to fill up cracks, potentially making concrete and buildings last much longer. It is environmentally friendly because cement for concrete is a major source of CO2 emissions, and less concrete means less cement and less CO2. Aizawa Concrete Corporation plans to reduce CO2 emissions to virtually zero in all of its product chains by 2035. As part of that, it wants to share its self healing concrete and other decarbonization technology with as many companies in its industry as possible. CEO Yoshihiro Aizawa says he wants the cement concrete industry to be an indispensable part of decarbonization. Finally, the ultimate in green technology. Could we one day power our homes using photosynthesis? Osaka City University and Iida Group Holdings, a real estate company, plans to demonstrate an artificial photosynthesis powered home in Okinawa this April. The system produces hydrogen through artificial photosynthesis, then generates electricity from that hydrogen. The test house on the tropical island of Miyakojima will use both solar power and photosynthesis. But researchers want to one day demonstrate a home powered completely by the new technology. Just like the photosynthesis used by trees and plants, artificial photosynthesis uses sunlight, water, and CO2. So amazingly, Artificial photosynthesis doesn't only reduce CO2 emissions as a form of renewable energy, it actually removes CO2 from the atmosphere. That's all for this week from J Stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.